From books like I Can Make This Promise to The Sea in Winter, local author Christine Day has won various awards for her youth literature novels. And her new book, We Still Belong, is coming to shelves this summer. And here to tell us all about it is Christine Day. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much for having me today. You have been so in. sweet. You are so excited to be here. We are so excited to have you. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And, and we would love for you to talk to us about how it is that you fell in love with books and started writing. Great, thank you so much. And uh, books, reading and writing were always a huge part of my life growing up. Uh, my parents read with me a lot and I had some really amazing teachers. Uh, my third grade teacher, Miss Guthrie, she had this really great classroom library and we would get to, you know, check books out from her. And there was this one book I remember I checked out from her so much. She eventually just let me keep it. Oh, what was <laughs> it? Do you remember? It was a really campy mystery thriller book that was <laughs> technically for teens. It was okay. kind of an older book, but um, it was called Horror High Re Resolved You're Dead. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> it was not exactly like what I write now, yeah. but it was just one of those stories that. Um, for whatever reason connected with me a lot at that time. <laughs> and um, I mean, I, I read really widely across genres and across different age groups and all sorts of things. Um, Holes by Lewis Sacker is another book that was really um, hugely influential to me in my career. And other authors like Jerry Spinelli and Gail Carson Levine and there's just there's so many amazing books out there. Well, and you're killing it writing books as well. <laughs> you are now an award-winning author of books for young people. And your first novel, I Can Make This Promise, it was actually named Best Book of the Year by NPR. That is a high honor. Yes. Tell us Thank about you. the message behind that book. Thank you. So I Can Make This Promise is a coming-of-age story that follows this young girl named Edie as she kind of unpacks uh, some a family mystery. And it is really a story about her, you know, growing up and learning about where she comes from and kind of who she is. And it's also really a story about a family coming together and learning to overcome generational trauma together. And uh, yeah, that was a really, it's been really great. I've had some really amazing conversations with kids and adults alike about that book. So I feel very fortunate to have had that be my debut novel. Beautiful. So I think often where we come from informs what we're passionate about or how we like to, in your case, write. Yeah. You are, of course, a member of the Upper Skagit Indian Tribe. And tell us about how that has influenced your life. Sure. So my mother was a pre-Indian Child Welfare Act adoptee. And so in a lot of ways, I actually grew up feeling kind of disconnected from the Native community. And over the course of my adulthood and through, you know, kind of connecting with especially the Native Kidlet community and with other communities as I've grown up, um, that is really what I've learned is that that's a pretty common feeling for a lot of Native folks mm -hmm. across Indian country. And um, basically, I've just really enjoyed and have felt really privileged to be able to reconnect and learn more about a lot of these histories and about how um, my family was just one of many that was really impacted by federal policies like that. And to just keep going and to kind of find resilience through through that with my family and with other Native folks. It seems like your books have such good messages and such good takeaways from them too. Thanks. And I know you're working on a new book that's coming out this summer, right? It's called We Still yes. Belong. What can people expect with that story? So that story is set entirely over the course of Indigenous Peoples Day. I really like stories for young readers that take place over the course of one day because I think that for kids and teens who are experiencing so many things often for the first time, uh, a single day really could feel that big. Like, yeah. like that really can kind of make or break you. And um, basically we follow Wesley, the main character, over the course of her school day and this uh, 
intertribal powwow she attends, and she just goes through a lot and learns a lot over the course of this one big day. That sounds amazing. And what age reader do you picture reading that? Uh, it is a middle grade novel, okay. so kind of ages 8 to 12, but... Really, anyone who feels drawn to the story. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. amazing. And it's just, you know, so interesting how much a great teacher can have an impact on your yes, life, too. So it's cool yes. to hear about your journey from start to finish, even just within a few minutes here. So thank, thank you so, so much. much for coming in today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. This is such a joy. Yeah, <laughs> keep doing your thing. We've got thank more you. info on her books up on our website, fox13seattle.com slash studio13live.